Some of the characters have been a virtual visual assault, you know, like Mal Malingra, you know, casually of rugby. I guess he's a classic example. I'm considered a dirty player because the ball comes towards me and I shit myself. <laughs> it was my birthday last week. Oh, I've got a pair of footy boots in the room. <laughs> They're both too big. <laughs> Watch me money grow. <laughs> and I can't wait to see my girlfriend blow hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. I had to go for my boy annual six monthly checkup last week. Yeah, the doctor said I've got to learn to relax. He said just let it all hang out. So I did, and a dog bit it. <laughs> that was a corgi. <laughs> Standing in a half. <laughs> with no bloody legs. <laughs> Played a team of puffs last week, they brought us undone. I ran for the ball, they ran for me bum. That's how we got caught. They wheeled her into the dress room. And the coach is working on her, pushing down on the tent, saying, don't worry, son, we get your balls down, you dick's bound to poke out. <laughs> I admit taking steroids to help me get fit. They lengthen me endurance, but shorten me dick. Now I'm going blind and I'm getting thick. But you got to be thick to play for me. When the game is all over and the supporters leave, it's back to the change room where we all get undressed and then we head for the showers.
to say is go to bed. Cause you need a big deep tough life for that.